Hey, this is Kathleen at oldworldfarmhouse.com and today I wanted to talk about chic French laundry hampers. So let's go. So yeah, I always wanted a laundry hamper like these ones with, like when you went to the laundromat, if you went to the laundromat back in the day with the cool wheels and the baskets, it's so vintage and sweet. There's just something so like urban cool about it. Um, I just love them. They're like poetic. So I wanted something like that for my house and I didn't want to like, you know, steal one from the laundromat and I don't know where they're so they source them. There's probably some supplier. We have to buy like a thousand at a time. I don't know. A few years ago, I read an article on apart apartment therapy. It was a tutorial for this laundry hamper and it said, you want a laundry hamper that makes you feel like Jean Seabird in 1960s Paris, but you can't buy one. So you're going to have to make one. I was hooked. I was like, I want to feel like Jean Seabird in 1960s Paris when I do laundry. So I marched myself out to Lowe's and I got chicken wire and this little wooden thing and some little wheels on casters and I followed the directions. And I have been using this as my laundry hamper ever since. So since I made these hampers, I actually made two of them, I've always kind of looked around for budget chic industrial laundry hampers and I never really found anything that I thought was any good until I recently found this cool one by Seville Classics and it is actually really reasonably priced and I've been watching it for a while and it was on sale on Overstock for like 60 bucks but I've seen them often for about that price and I put it together. So I just wanted to do a quick video and share with you these two um, really budget-friendly options for a chic 1960s in Paris style laundry hamper so you can feel fabulous while you're doing your laundry because I know I like to. So I will definitely link out to the apartment therapy tutorial they did on this one. I just want to show you um, how it works. So I, this is from the Army Navy store. It's a laundry bag that just lifts. When I take this downstairs to dump it in our laundry, I just lift this out dump the laundry in and then I bring it back and I put it back into its wire container. You don't actually want your clothes touching the wire because you know, they'll snag. Um, yeah, and then it just kind of rests in there. And if, if for a while I had one that had a drawstring top and that worked really nicely too, but it wore out finally. Um, and then you can also, I just I pull it around from place to place like that. I can't remember exactly how much I spent when I made the, I made two of these back in 2016. Um, but if memory serves, I think they each cost about $20 in raw materials from Lowe's. And then of course buying the liner is gonna be an extra expense depending on where you get that. Could be any soft laundry bag. And then if you don't feel like doing all of that DIY legwork, this is the cute little Seville Classics um, industrial style laundry hamper. It, like I said, it was about 60 bucks on overstock.com. Although I've seen it for sale lots of places, including you can buy direct from Seville Classics, which is pretty cool. I just assembled this the other day. I am a completely hopeless klutz when it comes to assembling anything. Just ask my husband. I got this together in under 10 minutes. It was super easy. Um, and I, I love, I am just loving it. I love the look of it. The wheels glide nicer. There's no pokey metal things. So <laughs> as much as I love my DIY project, I'm also really fond of my Seville Classics. So there you have it. If you're looking to feel chic and Parisian uh, when you do your laundry, here are two great budget-friendly and super practical options for laundry hampers. They're also really big and hold a lot of stuff. Um, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you get some use out of it. Happy folding!